<laughs> Don't knock the camera over now. Aloha. What's up, guys? You guys want to hear a funny story? I just recorded the whole first half of this video and didn't turn the camera on. So I guess I didn't record the first half. I just attempted it and failed. <laughs> but it's going to be a great video. So before we get into the meat of this video, which is going to be answering questions, I sent out a poll on YouTube here. If you're subscribed, you got the notification. If you got notifications turned on, you got the notification that we're going to be doing a question and answer video. We got, it was a poll. I asked if you guys wanted one. 80% of people said, yes, please. 20% or so said, no, thanks. Thank you for being so polite, guys, by the way. But unfortunately for us in the minority, majority rules, we're doing the question video. But first... I need a snake. Fresh shit. Fresh shit. Snake shit. Snake shit. Ah, oh, this is our big girl Betsy Ross, big purple reticulated python. Named Betsy Ross because she actually hatched out on the 4th of July. And, oh yeah, she's been coming to all our educational shows recently. I wanted to pull her out because one of the questions was, uh, what is my favorite snake here? And it's actually Halo. But Halo's in shed right now and I don't like to bother snakes, especially big snakes, when they're still in shed because if you prematurely accidentally pull off some of the skin it can be not good for them so i just kind of like to leave them alone with the big snakes that's a real high chance that happening just because the pressure and the weight and them moving when they just want to be sitting still and to that point i wanted to point out a video i saw just this morning on the nerd channel which was uh, talking about helping snakes shed their skin i didn't get to watch the whole video because anybody that does a bunch of creation on youtube we don't have a lot of time to just sit around and watch videos which i love to because those guys are awesome i've watched the nerd channel since way before they ever even became a channel no sorry since <laughs> before i was born nerd was doing videos before i ever started a youtube channel i watched the nerd channel a bunch and i still watch it and i think that the addition of uh, donnie doing the editing and uh, jeremy the new facility manager over there those guys are freaking hilarious and i think they add a great thing to the nerd videos which is comedy and then you then you just bring the big gun Kevin McCurley to drop infinitesimal reptile knowledge straight down from the universe through his brain out his mouth. I don't know how that guy does it. I mean, years of experience, sure, but he just harnesses in and he just comes out. It's great. I guess it was about people uh, helping shed their snakes and it and people thinking that it's harmful to the snake, which it's not if you wait until after they've shed, like which is something they were talking about in the video, I'm pretty sure. Go check out that video. Go check out the Nerd Channel if you haven't already because it's awesome. They're awesome. And this snake is awesome. And helping snakes shed after they've already started to shed is also awesome. But that's not the point of this video. Ooh, also one, one real quick shout out um, to the person that emailed Lindy telling him that uh, they should stop sponsoring this channel. Well, I'll admit that was kind of a stressful way to wake up in the morning. Uh, we all had a good laugh about it later at Freedom Breeder, so... <laughs> Thanks for the laugh. Do I seem fairly energetic to you guys? The funny thing is, I was sick. I was sick. I am sick. The kids got me sick. I'm sick. And I was rushing around here trying to get this stuff set up, you know, setting up the camera stuff and the lights and everything I do in here. It's a little bit of a production, but... I was like, I need to get this set up. I'll go get some coffee, and then I'll come back and I'll do the video. I gotta go get the coffee quick while I still got this energy. And I was like... I haven't had any coffee yet. I'm just feeling it. So um, if I didn't mention this already, I can't remember because remember I have recorded part of this video without actually recording it. So I'm gonna answer the questions that are just for me. Then we'll go upstairs and we'll ask the questions that were directed at the entire family or Hillary and, and we'll go like that. Sound good? Sound good. So some of these questions, I really, I could have made a whole entire video just on like one of these questions or even some of these questions, but I'm gonna make a video on all of them just so that we can have more Instead of trying to stretch the content, I'm just going to condense it and make this video dense with content. <laughs> Stupid. So Samuel Wiley had a few questions. A one, first one is, what got me into snakes? I was into dinosaurs when I was a kid, like really into dinosaurs, like I think most kids are and most people to get into reptiles when they're older because reptiles are like the closest we can get to dinosaurs in a sort of way. But there was a snake crawling through my grass when I was four years old little California king snake, and my dad ascertained it was non-venomous, we went and handled it. Long story short, we found out it was the neighbor's pet that had escaped, and my neighbor was a man that went by the moniker snake. I'm pretty sure he was like a Hell's Angel type of dude or somewhere, that were in Hayward, California. We went to give him his snake back, and in his living room looked like, like this. His living room looked like, like this, essentially. And I just looked at my dad, I remember I was like, can we do this too? 
And luckily, my dad's cool as hell, my parents are cool as hell, and I got my first pet snake at four years old. Rest history. Second question is, how did you grow your YouTube channel? As far as growing it, it's just kind of, it just happens naturally. You know, you go out, you do videos with other people who have YouTube channels, you just continually put out content and people find it. And uh, if people like it, they subscribe to your channel and that's just kind of how it grows. And you know, that's the best, most natural way to grow a channel, in my opinion, is just to let it grow naturally and like have fun doing it. And when you're having fun, it's contagious, I think. And people get, people like to see, have fun with other people. So, and that's what, that's what grows it. Can you imagine what's gonna happen when I actually do go get coffee? Whew, I don't think I'm gonna film that. Um, am I gonna move into different reptiles? Since we've taken over the roaming reptiles thing, we have well, we have the tegu, we have tortoises, we have geckos, uh, amphibians now, we got a toad and a frog, so we've started that move, that's happening. Oh, Samuel, you'll ask a bunch of questions, man. They're, they're good, thank you. Um, who's my role model or my hero? That's a tough one, man. Like, my parents are really good people, and they're the people that I really look up to. Like, they're some of the best people on the planet. Like, their morals and, like, how they treat other people. Um, Man, I wasn't expecting to get emotional about this, <laughs> but if I if I had to name role models, it, it is my parents, definitely. Um, I've not followed in their footsteps, not even like slightly, I don't think, but that doesn't mean they're not my role models or my heroes, so. How was my young life? That we could definitely make a whole video about. I'm just gonna kinda gloss over it and say that it, it was good. You know, I know of people who had way rougher lives. I grew up with a bunch of friends who had much rougher lives than I did. Um, broken homes, abusive families, um, Drug addiction, I mean, I did that myself, you know, drug addiction, but that was just, I just kind of fell into it. It had nothing to do with how, the, how I was raised. It was just kind of something I, you know, I fell into a group of people and uh, that was a good experience for me because it let me see like how bad things can get in the world, you know? And get, get, that's kind of where I get my perspective of like being, really enjoying life and being positive about everything because I've seen the horrible downside that life can throw at people. It can be really, really bad. So I'd say my, my very young life was fortunate. I had a fortunate uh, life growing up, you know, to have two parents, a solid, because of my family. My family is the number one reason that I had a, a solid childhood because I had that solid foundation of family to always fall back on no matter how much trouble I got into. And without that, I may have not made it through the struggles that I did as a child. Man, these questions are, I didn't, wasn't expecting it like this, expecting this to be a light video. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, thank you for those questions, Samuel. They were, they were really good. Um, I'll, maybe I'll do a future video if somebody really wants me to go into depth on some of that stuff, but I just wanted to kind of get all the questions in this video. What started What Do You Know? That's uh, Pauline Reefer. It was just, it just happened. When I first started doing the vlogs, I was just, there's one time I was hanging out and I was just looking at the kids. I was like, hey, what do you know? And it was just, I know. What about poop? Dad, it comes out of your butt, and that's why I know fat, fat, fat. I know, and it just it just happened. It wasn't premeditated whatsoever, and that's the way a lot of the things on the vlog are. Like all the little things, like sometimes I do the laugh track back. It's just things that I feel in the moment, and they end up becoming segments of the videos. So, Chris R, where do I see myself in four years? I'm definitely not the five-year plan guy, or four-year plan, or three-year plan. I kind of like the fact that I have plans into the middle of next year is kind of a thing for me. I never really planned that far in advance. I have ideas where I'd like to be, but I, I also have this firm realization in reality that everything could be gone tomorrow. So if I'm planning for these things to happen years from now, but not taking advantage of the time I'm in right now, I'm not saying that you can't plan and take advantage of the time right now, but that's just where I focus. I focus closer in the future than, than that far out. Where would I like to be in four years? Still doing what I'm doing now, successfully and well with a healthy family, with a roof over our heads, food to eat. That's where I'd like to be in four years. Doing what we're doing now um, on a bigger scale, maybe a little bit, but not by much. Just still having fun, enjoying life in four years. Steve Lender, what is my ultimate snake to breed even if I don't have it now? Somalia King Horni, or whatever they're calling it now. It's the Northern Australian scrub python. It's like the largest species of scrub python. That would be amazing to breed. As far as what I do have now, I'm really looking forward to breeding the indigo snakes. That's gonna be a blast. 
Reptilian King asked, how big do I want to get as a breeder? I've always said that I like around 30 clutches a year or so is kind of what I'd like to max out at. And I haven't changed that thought. That's kind of what I'd like to be, especially since we're doing the educational programs. I do a lot of video work. Um, I don't want to be overwhelmed with snake production on top of that. And it's already a bunch of work as it is. Um, you know, I produced eight clutches this year and that was pretty good, but I would definitely not like to ever produce more than say 30 clutches of snakes in a year. And if I stay under that, that'll be where I, where I want to be at. Like I said, max 30 clutches a year is where I want to be. And as far as the kids helping, they just have been helping. They have been helping. And um, I don't always show it because when we're working, we're working and I'm giving direction. Sometimes I'll film it, but it's like, how many times can you make a video about kids helping you clean snakes? Nuclear Zach asked if I like Azanthic ball pythons, Azanthic fireball pythons. I haven't gotten into Azanthic. Um, I think that John Degg over at JD Constriction produces some really amazing Azanthic stuff that he did by mixing in uh, like fire and pastel again, that those really yellow, yellow fireflies. And that when the Azanthic takes away that yellow, then you're left with this nice stark contrast between the black and white. I think that's really cool. Um, haven't gotten into it yet, so obviously I'm not as into it as I am into things like Clown um, and Sunset. But yeah, no, I think they're I think they're cool. I like all snakes, man. That's not, I'm the wrong person to ask that question. Kenzie Bellin asks, "How many snakes do we have?" Uh, at any given time, anywhere between 60 to 100, depending on where we're at as far as babies that have been produced and not sold yet. But somewhere in that 60 to 100 range. I'm not, I don't, I don't want to run around and count them right now. Mr. Ritual 24 asked if Hillary was into snakes when I got into reptiles. Well, we were in Hawaii when I met, so I hadn't been keeping reptiles in that whole time we lived in Hawaii. So we met and got married before she realized like exactly how much I was into it when we moved back. And I said, when we move back to California, I'm going to get a snake. And she's kind of like, what? Because <laughs> she grew up with a fear of snakes and worms. But now she holds snakes, now she cleans snakes, she holds big retakes, like it's, it's no big thing at this point. But yeah, no, she wasn't into it. He also asked what career would I be doing if I wasn't in doing YouTube, snakes, stay-at-home dad, all that stuff. Full-time musician, hands down. I would be out there touring on the road, rocking shows. Two Piece asked, kind of cool name there by the way, uh, asked if my kids don't choose to follow me into the reptile world, what would I like to see them do as careers when they get older? I would probably, this is a similar answer for a lot of parents, I would just like to see them do something that makes them happy. You know, I don't want to see them get into something and do something just for the money. Because that's, from what I've seen in my life, people that do things just for the money, do work just for the money, miserable. And I don't, any, any parent I believe wants their child to be happy. That's like the number one goal for, for a child from a parent is please just be happy in your life. And so, yeah, something they enjoy, whatever it is. And if, if you enjoy something enough, like the money will come. You know, if you, if, you, if you work hard and you enjoy the work that you're doing, how much you make, you'll be able to make a career out of it. That's my belief. Matt Rupke asked, if I was a superhero, what would my superpower be? I've always gone back between three different things, and they're these three. Being able to fly, being able to be invisible, or being able to move super fast. And like, like not just move super fast, but able to see everything else happening slower. Like if, I always imagine like if there's somebody throwing a baseball pitch at me, I could just see it coming. I'm just sitting there waiting for it. Like, all right, where's gonna, let's see, where do I want to hit it? At the bottom, the top, the middle? Let's hit it right about bah, there that kind of super speed. All right, that's it for me. The rest of the questions are for the whole family, so let's go upstairs. Hi, dude, oh, you came to give daddy hugs? Oh my gosh. That's oh, so, so you'll nice. give daddy a hug and not me. <laughs> daddy gets a huggy, daddy gets a huggy, daddy gets a daddy gets a daddy gets a huggy. Oh, so nice, my tea. Oh, so nice, my sweets. That's my good tea, huh? That's my good tea. Hukamaka. <coughs> oh, still sicky. Oh my gosh. Leia. I mean, even her voice sounds better today. Yeah. I can actually hear her voice. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> so I, I came up here and edited the first half of the video while I was waiting for Noah to get home from school. And it's full length, so we're going to do a second video, part two, for the question video with the rest of the family. What's going on there, bud? <laughs> Very nice, my guy. And plus, plus it's dinner time and but yeah.
If you liked this part of the video, then the second part should be five times as good. I mean, it's kind of getting dinner time and like. Then everyone gets to jump on there. No. 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 So the next one though is for this beautiful, I haven't even opened it, Triple B TV hoodie. These things are nice and soft. They feel good on your head. Winter is coming. It's appropriately time. It's an appropriate time to be getting a beanie. So, right? This is for the beanie, right? Am I tripping? It's possible I'm tripping. <laughs>